love you guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Brutiana. if you are new here or welcome again i create content all about holistic living fashion self-care and wellness motherhood and just everything in between so be sure to hit that notifications bell subscribe join the family because i do post content every week <laughs> do like a full um like you know newborn essentials video and i kind of wanted to do a, something a little differently and mainly i wanted to kind of wait to um like talk about certain products and you know do like my review on certain things mainly until the fact that my son is like now a toddler i feel like you know i feel more confident and comfortable sharing these things um you know some things worked when he was um, a newborn and some things didn't you know after a while um so it was now i have like a good range on like you know a variety of different things like so from wellness to like overall like you know hair care and just like you know mindfulness things that I can share with you guys today um, I'm not sure if I'm going to split this up into separate parts um, so definitely just like stay tuned from for that to see like you know what I decide to do because I'm not sure exactly how long this video will be um, but yeah let's just get right into this video so as you can tell by the title of this video this video is essentially going to be me showing you products and like things that i find um to be like essentials from the newborn stage to the toddler stage with a couple little extra things just thrown into the mix as well um i was at first going to do like a wellness haul but i just figured why not show you guys some like wellness products and like other like i said essentials but comment down below if you want to see like a baby gear um video i could definitely do that for you guys but like i said essentially these are just things that in my opinion are like essentials there will be a few things that I will kind of explain that are not so essential or even like must-haves um, and I don't probably have everything that I think that from like the newborn stage obviously because like I said my son is a toddler now um, but I think I'm rambling so let's just get right into the video. So one uh, category I guess you could say that I'm going to talk about is supplementing so that is high on my list for overall toddler and newborn essentials and like you know like wellness essentials due to the fact that like I said I am a vegan um mom to a vegan toddler he's fully vegan um and so obviously naturally we will have to supplement so i'm going to show you guys the main things that like said, since day one that he has been using first thing that we have here is the liquid probiotics for kids i use a different brand when he was a um, newborn but i could not find that i haven't been find, able to find that brand for the past few months so this is what i've been using it's by the brand go healthy I don't even know if you guys can see this but it's by the brand go healthy um and then essentially what it is is good for kids that are um from one to three years old um it's vegan non-gmo and dairy free um and yeah this is good for like the gut bacteria and overall like gut health so this is something that i said since day one we were implementing into his like you know diet Next thing that i have is the brand yeah. herb lore it's the iron tonic non um alcoholic version and basically it has um dandelion root nettle leaf yellow dock root and it's a um a another type of blend and so it recommends to give yourself two to three times daily for like the adults and then they have like a separate like dosage guide on their website for the children that you can like screenshot or download um to your phone and so like so since day one this is like one of the um kind of like most like must have things that we have been giving our son as well i also can take it or can take it occasionally as well but for the most part this is like his like go to one of his go-to supplements um mainly due to the fact that we kind of already know that it's kind of crucial for babies like development or newborns development to have iron so we wanted to make sure he had that as well um the next thing that we had this is like another must have for sure for sure is vitamin d3 and k2 and if i'm not mistaken i believe the k2 is great for like the um like the like thickening of the blood so that you don't get blood clots and things of that nature um because he did not get the um vitamin k shot um but this is lan lanolin and soy free and it's vegan friendly all the supplements we have here are vegan friendly and like i said they're on my amazon shop so if you're looking for um you know some vegan supplements for your kid definitely check these out because like i said i've been using these all for a while now and definitely can vouch for them um 
so this one recommends that you could put it directly into your, your baby's mouth and or add it to the um baby's like food or formula whatever you are doing for the baby's um you know feeding habits or feeding needs so for us like i said we would just kind of like put it directly into his mouth and then like feed or like when i pump like i'll add it to his milk and even to this day same thing because i still do breastfeed so i will just kind of like add a little bit a couple of drops to his um milk or his food or whatever the case may be um, the next thing that um, around six months we kind of started to implement was these infants vitamin C drops just to make sure he's getting his extra dose of vitamin C. Naturally, once he was able to like, you know, um, like start eating like, you know, solid foods, we did start baby led weaning around like four months. So we were able to kind of get him like, a head start on it. Um, definitely consult with your day, your baby's pediatrician before doing anything or even taking any of these um, supplements. I am no way a nutritionist or health coach or anything like that. I definitely just want to share my knowledge and my resource with you guys. So I wanted to throw that in there as well. But yeah, so this one is by, um, like I said, by the brand Mary Roots. I um, have heard different things about this brand. It's pretty good. I believe the liquid probiotics um, was what we were taking originally for the baby. But I don't know if that thing that was discontinued. Um, but this was is non this is non GMO, hundred percent um, vegan, and this is the orange vanilla um, flavor. The next thing that we recently, I mean, that we started to do around six months um, was like this um, the vitamin B twelve um like spray well actually we did this around like i want to say nine or ten months we didn't do because even now we only do it like once a week because i we firmly believe in the fact that like you know using like the natural sources like from the foods and stuff like that to get these things um but yeah so we was you we got this and like i said just like a liquid spray we also um as adults wow <laughs> we also use um this spray and just like two like little sprays and that's pretty much it and this spot is the berry um like flavor um so the next one is the toddler um omega-3 liquid drops so this one we recently started doing like after he turned one uh, we just added a couple of drops into it um and then we do have like a um, iodine which we don't really use that often because like i said we use like the, like the natural sources from foods and things of that nature but this um omega-3 drops like i said it's vegan it's unflavored and also by the brand mary Ruth. so the next thing i wanted to kind of touch on really briefly is some gripe water this is not like a supplement this is not like even like a must-have this is like an extra thing that we did implement to his like diet when he was a newborn um we don't use it anymore we're just mainly from like the first six months this is kind of what we used it for because my son was really really gassy kind of colicky when he was um born um so we're well, not colicky but he was just very very gassy and um we used this gripe water my parents actually told me about using gripe water to kind of help break down the um like the colic or the gas and um this was basically an infant colic and gas relief which is like i said what they call the bright water um and by the brand kitty max it's vegan friendly it's um, natural and non-toxic um but for me to my own honest opinion i think that it might have been too much for his little system because sometimes he would like um it would be like the little gag reflux where he would throw up like like maybe a couple of minutes or so after it um so it was one of those things where like occasionally we would, we would see it but it wasn't like an all the time kind of thing so i did want to show this because it is like a natural brand um it's a homeopathic liquid and like i said it is um vegan and um, there's no animal products wheat yeast gluten soy milk um, or any other like artificial flavors colorings and preservatives once again with all of these supplements please consult with your primary care physician your family doctor your pediatrician or whatever the case may be um this is only for educational purposes and giving you guys just like some insight to like other natural remedies um and so when, speaking of natural remedies a lot of the times if my son is like sick we do we just make things like from scratch like elderberry syrup i'll do that um as like a main um source of his like get well <laughs> type of get better type of like you know relief um system type of thing or you know other things of that nature before we go out and go and buy like you know all these type of supplements and things of that nature 
Okay, so the next kind of like essentials category would be like feeding, of course. Um, so I have a separate video on like the newborn um, essentials that are eco-friendly. So like definitely check that out. I'll insert it somewhere like in the description below um, for you guys. But I'm going to just kind of briefly talk about it here. Um, so I have the four pack of the um, brand Life Factory. So essentially what this is, are these are glass bottles. So we once again keep it um, pretty eco-friendly friendly over here as much as possible um and we have the non-toxic um like natural like rubbers that came with that i like these bottles on not only because they're glass but you can also use the um like change out the replace the lids um and the nipples with like a little sippy cup um like lid so he could have used that we kind of skipped that part and went straight to um little um jars which i'll kind of talk about later but um, I also used the brand Evanflow, which was also his starter bottle. So we had like the um, the four ounce of these, and then I had the nine ounce of nine ounce and the four ounce of the Life Factory. So another thing that you it would be great for like feeding essentials um, is mason jars. So I got these little mason jars from Amazon, and I think this is perfect because. As I mentioned in the other video, you can not only store your breast milk in there, you can um, put like the little baby purees in there. And it's just like a, a very versatile. So even to this day, we still do his like purees. We still do like baby food, like, you know, like meal prep stuff in these type of jars. Um, I still store my breast milk in these jars. Um, and like I got a pack of 40 and I had once again found that on Amazon. Okay, so the next thing that falls under is like the feeding category. This is more of like a toddler essential. Um, but if you're interested in baby lead weaning, this would be kind of great for that because you can put like your pouch, I mean your purees in there. You could put like smoothies in there, which is what we do. We put like a variety of different things into the pouch and it's super easy to use. Um, it's by the brand Haka. Um, and so I really like that because it's super easy to use. You just pop that open, pour the um, mixture inside and then pop it back on. You could easily put this in your diaper bag or in a cooler and like store it that way. Um, it has like this little like you know small like nozzle, which is great because it kind of helps your child when it comes to learning how to like use a straw. Um, and I really like the fact that like I said, it's just kind of easy to use and, and you, it's multi-purpose. It has like such a like um, wide verse of you know uses. Um, so I have that and I also used to use this brand called Infantino. I use the food maker. It has like, I'll insert a picture. The food maker um, that you kind of like squeeze the puree into the pouches. And so I used to use the pouches with that, but I like the fact that this is eco-friendly because it's reusable and it's not have like no plastic. It's like made out of silicone. Um, so now I just kind of use this with the machine and it works out perfectly. Okay, so the next thing um, that I have here are um like the glass bottles so these are like more like kind of like sippy cups in a sense but i like the fact that like this also has like multi-purpose it's a mason jar with the, like a silicone like cover it's by the brand elk in france and i was so glad to find this like when i had first bought it. i bought it around when he was like four months five months like so when we kind of started doing the baby led weenie because i kind of wanted to him to be able to like eventually start to do like use like the straw and things of that nature um um, and I, I originally wanted to um, use the mason jars that had like the bamboo lids, but I could not find them for the life of me when I was looking um, at that time. So I just got the Elk and Friends and it was a set of four. Um, luckily, I would definitely vouch for this brand. Only one of them has broken within like, you know, the past year. And that was due to me because I was cleaning and moving things around. The silicone, um, like the cover was not on there. And so it just broke like it fell straight to the floor and it broke like that but it's like very durable glass and like so overall it really is like a great 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 brand um i like the fact that not only like that you can use it for like food and purees and things of that nature but you can also put like the little snacks in it so it has like you know these little lids that are like you know solid lids so that way you can like keep them in clothes um it also has like the, the silicone straws you can basically essentially what it is it has like these little this little let's see if you guys can see it it's like kind of little like blocker thing so when you slide put the straw in it the child can't really like pull it out okay so i really really do love that 
Now, because of the fact that I wasn't sure if I wanted to just have only glass um, bottles, I have bought this like silicone little baby cup, which is super, super cute. Everything is linked down below and is, um, I, I forgot the name of the brand, um, but so I'll link it down below. He likes this um, cup. I, it's okay for me. One thing I don't like is the fact that the straw slips right out and so for me like i said that is like a big no-no for me because of the fact that he is at that age and that stage where this straw comes out so does the water he pours it like automatically on the floor so at least with this this has like the little blocker um as well and then like i said the little has like a little small um i don't have it on here right now but it's a little a little small piece in it to keep this like the water from essentially coming out so I also have this um, like little snack cup that is actually collapsible and it comes with a silicone lid. So this is another like eco-friendly kind of find. And it's great because like I said, you can put the snacks in it and then it collapses down like that. So it's really, really, really convenient. This thing is the um, like a Vanshi bowl and plate set. I just got the essentials because I mean, I really didn't think that he would need that much and I was just testing it out. And I got the, the spoon. So it came with one spoon and then I got like, no, it came with two, a set of two spoons and then I bought two additional spoons in this like light gray color. Um, and so I really like it because like I said, the bowls are like bamboo so it's eco-friendly non-toxic and then it has like these like little like little silicone rubber type of um like suction so it sticks to the table so it's less likely for him to make a mess he's at the stage now you guys where he definitely knows how to unlike do it like lift it right on up and carry it to the um the sink so it's just kind of like one of those things where it's like Mm, yeah it only lasts for but so long so i'm gonna let y'all be the, the decision you know make that decision on whether you feel like it's really worth it i did see some like full suction like placemat um bowls that maybe you can try that as well but i do would say this would be an essential something that has like the suction in like so this is a great like eco-friendly find um so i got the bamboo um bamboo cup to match like the essentials kit this is actually by a different brand because I, at the time i couldn't find the avanchi brand like cup like this i think it's babu or bamboo something on amazon but essentially there, there's like two brands on amazon that are kind of very very similar um and i think this one might be a little bit um re more reasonable in price than the avanchi brand um but either way like i said they're both really 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 good so that's that um the next thing that um i wanted to show you guys are the bibs for talking about feeding so i got a, a set of three one of them is um in the um the drying rack right now but it's, it's like this mustard i mean not a mustard it's like a burnt orange color kind of like the color of my shirt um and then this like little cream color and this like light blue color and i love the idea of it having like the little pocket so that it catches the food and when i tell you guys it is literally a lifesaver it literally is a lifesaver so when he was a newborn and he started to like start eating you know things were out way a lot more messier than they are now i mean things still do get messy but i would just like layer it with like the little um like you know um smaller bib underneath and then i would put this bib on top so that way it would protect his clothes um and you know it's another like eco-friendly item because you can definitely reuse it and i like the fact that you don't have to like you know re you know it's not fabric so you can like re you can easily wash it the next thing i got were these little um little kind of like i want to say like little food pacifiers so this was really really good like when he was like transitioning to like baby led weaning um so it basically has the um like little holes in it as you can tell so uh, you could put the fruit in it freeze it which is what you did like with banana and strawberries and then give it to him and this is great for teething you can like you know add like to the food the um fruit we did banana we did like strawberries we did the blueberries um and it does get a little messy so that's kind of like a downside to it but it's also like another like really really good good like teething alternative um to like toys and stuff like that um and then i also have this like little popsicle maker coming with like the four colors pink blue and yellow and the green um but i do like this it's not a like necessity but it is a little extra but i wanted to do have this because i wanted to do the popsicle like the breast milk popsicles when he was teething because he like you know definitely was like a great alternative and like he actually he was absolutely obsessed with it so i definitely would like, like i said throw this in the mix i believe this is by the brand newbie so 
yeah. Another like, I guess you could say, it's not really feeding, but another like essential for when he was like a newborn were these like pacifiers. So we only did like the natural rubber pacifiers, um, stage one and stage two. Um, I Like I said, I don't remember the brand, but everything is going to be linked down below. Um, I think it's called Boon. Yeah, B-O-O-N, yeah, that's the name of the brand. So you can kind of see it. Um, and like I said, this brand will tell you if it's stage one or stage two based on the um based on the like the actual like nipple so this one's stage one this one's stage two so then we also have this other one i think this is by the itsy ritzy um brand um like i said with something with like the like silicone rubber and we also did like a not another pacifier which we like threw out um that was like with, like the natural um rubber as well so let's say everything should be linked in my amazon shop if you guys are um interested in any of these products a few things i might not mention or may have missed so like to so definitely 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 check out the amazon shop because i'll have like just about everything that we've tried um or like on the process of using in that oh so in regards to like some more feeding stuff um you could use the silicone like ice tray and put like little um like purees in it and freeze it and that's what i did so it was, it was perfect especially for his newborn phase where i mean like the like ba baby led weaning phase where i could just pop out like one small one and it lasted such a long long time so in regards to some more i guess you could say cleaning feeding stuff um i had bought this set of like these bamboo and like a little wooden um like handles from amazon it basically is a bottle like bottle brush cleaner set and i wanted to like have like i said an equal friendly option um for his like cleaning um like essentials i'll insert a picture also of um like the little um dry rack that we used for his um like bottles and stuff like that and then i also use like a plant-based like dish soap that's not like i said those things are like not like all these things are like extra things but things that you may like consider if you are like looking for things to like add to maybe like your register kind of category i guess you could say would be um like bathing and bath essentials um and like skincare wellness things so i'm gonna, gonna go from like the kind of like most important like obvious stuff that he still uses today which is like the towels and washcloths and burp cloths so these things are all 100 percent bamboo i like it because it's super super soft and like i got like a gray and a white set i don't have everything like with me right now but um i just like i said, got a gray washcloth and um gray white like bamboo like towel set and washcloth set so that's that and then i also got like burp cloths so this burp cloth is by the brand um midi kids and it also came with like a towel so it came with two burp cloths and a towel i mean not a towel a blanket and i really really like it because it's super soft and like i said 100 percent bam organic bamboo and i felt more comfortable with that because i believe that even just based on research that like bamboo is a lot more softer and um just overall i like bamboo it's an equal friendly option um if you haven't already can tell i'm having an obsession with bamboo so like all his like i said burp cloths and rags just about are um bamboo we do have some like like washcloths that are in like you know burp cloths that we got from the register i mean we got as a gift um and that are cotton but for the most part said, everything is bamboo um so these things are kind of like obvious things because you definitely would want to have like um you definitely would want to have like burp cloths because you will need them um and you can also use these as like washcloths as well so i would recommend like if anything having like maybe one set of the burp cloths and then like maybe like one thing of like the washcloths just to kind of get you started because we kind of bought things like as we went along and i think that helped so that we would we didn't like over buy things we also have the um organic cotton like liners like the like re like the reusable diaper liners that you can also use as like a burp cloth so that was something extra that we also had as well um i'll just insert a picture because i don't have it with me out here right now but that's something else that we had um and like i said the main thing is just like the burp cloth idea and preferably something that's like organic cotton or like organic bamboo okay so um this is something else that you can add to like the list of like 
must have i guess you could say or essentials i would say essentials it's not definitely a must have in my opinion because you can do the method of just like bathing your baby in, like in a clean sink which is what we did <laughs> at first and then my sister got this for us we did have the tub but i like the little mini baby tub but i really just didn't like it because i felt like my baby was getting cold and i just felt like you know let's just use this and so he was able to like fully sit up on his own and then bathe in like the actual tub you know so that's what we did um so yeah it's like a little flower lotus type of like shape and like i said it's super soft and it easily like fits like on the tub and sometimes during his bath time we even like lay it in the bath as well the next thing that i kind of want to touch on are these like reusable wipes um i got this from amazon and so essentially these are made out of 100 percent bamboo and i like it because you can easily like put them in your like diaper bag or whatever the case may be um like like i said they're basically like reusable wipes and they're like smaller than a washcloth and so that's initially why i got them because i wanted to like to keep it as eco-friendly as possible we do use the um biodegradable like you know baby wipes but i do want to want it to have this option so this is really really good especially um for when they're newborns and you know if you need like little um messes to clean up really quick that that's great for that we did not have a white warmer that was to me was kind of like pointless um after when i was like looking up and doing my research um i did come across like some people that would talk about the fact that like you know if you use the white warmer then you know like during the winter time or if you're out and about your baby's going to always be used to having like warm wipes and it kind of would like not you know match up so i just kind of like opt out of not having the white warmer um but i wanted to, i mentioned that because i have this little like um wipes container thing that I usually i'll fill up with water and then that's where i'll have like the, the reusable wipes in so i kind of will like just put the water in there and let these like it like really damp and then i'll kind of like really pull them out that way and then like wash them off um because they said they're reusable so i will wash them off in the, the washer next thing i kind of want to show you guys are like more like skincare like personal hygiene type of like overall wellness type of items so we're going to talk a little bit about like the um essentials these are like um the thermometers this one's like for anal and for um like your mouth like orally um and then this one is more like a separate um a surface temperature one and i like this because like you know sometimes you, you want to just like check your child's temperatures to see how things go and like so these are kind of like obvious like things that you really 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 do need to have so now we kind of like start off with like maybe some like like more maintenance hygiene uh, you know overall overall wellness items uh, we have this like nail file that we got for him um, we use this a little bit when he was like a newborn and so it basically has like the little like vibration um, thing where it kind of like turns and you can kind of file the nails down like that um, on the baby's nails and they kind of recommend using something like this because the baby's nails are so like sharp but like you know also very very fragile so they easily do come off um, but like for me I also once he especially as he became more of a toddler started to just use like a regular like um, nail baby nail file so I got both of these like from Amazon both was like a set on its own I got them separately um, this little pouch it was like the little like pouch that has like the um like the little thing that comes you know so you can brush their teeth or their tongue which is like another little like must have um something else they had like a little comb and brush set the little scissors the little mini nail file the little um nose um like squeezer thing so that like i said i got like a whole set of that from amazon and then i said the, also the nail other nail file on amazon as well another little tip thing you can do is you can get like little muslin bags like storage bags to put like all your little essentials in it to kind of keep everything like contained so here are the little like um pieces of like the different grades i guess you could say for the file in regards to like whether they're a newborn toddler or even adult and it's like it basically talk like it's like the hardness of how hard or soft the like um like the bristle part is for the nail file thing i wanted to show you guys is more like his like his toothbrush um set that he got from brand's love so we've been using this for a few months now like now most of his teeth are in we definitely have been trying to implement the process of getting him used to the idea of brushing his teeth um so this comes with six toothbrushes all they kind of look all like this they're all bamboo um eco-friendly um you know eco-friendly sustainable from the brand Grenzla. i also have like eco 
um, bamboo brushes from the same brand. It has like the charcoal floss set with that. The bristles are very, very soft. So it's not like, you know, you're doing too much, which is why I recommend this because they're like kids toothbrushes. Um, and then, um, like I said, it's vegan and BPA free. And the bristle, I mean, like the handle is like natural bamboo. Um, so they have like green, pink, yellow, blue, um, like the red, I have like a different colors, like color variety. So your child always has like something to choose from. And if his cousin decide to come over, they have like one that they can take home with them as well. Um, I also like buying things in sets. So that's just kind of like a natural thing for me anyways. Um, so that's that. And then in terms of his toothpaste, um, we are using the brand Jack and Jill. So this is vegan, cruelty free, 100% natural and non-toxic. It doesn't have that many um, like, uh, like ingredients, which is why I like it. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingredients, which is like say perfect for me. Um, and it is completely like I said natural, no artificial color, no sugar, which is great, and no paraben or fluoride. We for not, we really really try to make sure we keep it um, fluoride free in our house so this is like a good like i said alternative if you are looking for a kid's toothpaste so i also forgot to mention i got this from amazon too it's like the i think it's the by the brand um oogie bear so it's great for like getting like the baby's earwax and like you know his little boogies out of their nose okay so the next thing that i want to talk about is like hair care stuff so essentially we obviously try to keep it as like natural holistic as possible and i've been getting more into doing different things with his hair um for the most part we do keep it very simple jojoba oil coconut oil as i mentioned earlier in this video um and that was pretty much it i do like natural masks with like aloe vera and like avocado or banana and like kind of make it my, my mask for him in that way um but recently within like the past like year um i tried this like kind of when he's like 14 months i think that's when we kind of I got into this um when he was like maybe eight months i found, came across this brand on instagram and i was so excited because i was looking for something that was like mainly for like you know boy hair care um that was vegan this is vegan natural not toxic and let me mention it is black owned people so definitely check them out now you can get them on target you can get it at walmart you can definitely get this on amazon um so i have the curl cream the curling cream and the leave-in conditioner spray right now um but it definitely does like shine up his hair and like give it an extra like you know definition and moisture so essentially i'll do like the like I said the aloe vera um hair mask first then i'll add like the um i'll do like maybe like a hot oil somewhat hot oil treatment of like with the jojoba oil leave that on for like a few minutes and then um we're kind of do like a light rinse and then um add these in afterwards so yeah this is the key the the kids leave-in conditioner and like i said this is the curling cream so yeah that's pretty much what i wanted to show you guys with that next thing are like his more like hair care items so we have these like wool brushes these like super like natural i mean it's like super soft it's 100 percent natural wool um so obviously that wouldn't be considered vegan but they're made out of like a um like organic like natural like bamboo the brand i believe is a vendor um and i got this all once again also from amazon like everything should be linked down below it also came with a comb set which actually did break i think i have a piece of it somewhere um but instead we just use like a regular little baby comb um, in place of that because mainly i just use like these two anyways um so yeah that came like so as i set and once again i just kind of keep everything in these little muslin bags and moving on to like the bath and body stuff um i have the brand pipe at this is the um baby shampoo and wash tear free clean non-toxic and i definitely can vouch for it because i've been using it for a while now and i absolutely love it the scent is not strong it's vanilla and yang lang lang um so i really really like it's hypoallergenic and it's a dermatologist tested um and like i said it's plant derived which is great it's vegan and it's ewg verified um, EWG is an environmental working group and it basically can rate your products in terms of how toxic it is um, and I, so I, I, like I, said, I like the fact that this brand is like really good for that it have wipes they have baby oil they have sunscreen they have so much and I have used like this like kind of religiously um, so this is like my go-to brand um, my other go-to brand is Babel Botanicals like that also is the same thing vegan cruelty free non-toxic um, EWG verified and they have a few different scents that I've played around with um so in regards to like so that's what I'm using right now currently as soap but I've also used like their eucalypt like the 
Babel Botanicals, like eucalyptus soap, their um, uh, oatmeal candela um, soap blend. Um, I have the lotions by the brand Babel Botanicals. So this one is the calming lavender one, the lavender and meadow sweet, and this one is the oatmeal, I mean oat milk, and then the calendula. Um, moisturizing baby lotion so i use, I use like both like depending on like i said the day um and since we're currently almost out of this one this is why like i re-upped on some more of the um other scent so so yeah basically they're very very like you know baby safe and i said that's also something i can definitely vouch for because we've been using these since the day that he was born but like lotion i guess you could say yeah this is baby lotion so yeah we had this this is what we keep in our diaper bag if we just need extra lotion but it's by the brand Puracy, which is another like natural like plant-based um like lotion brand um this was in the travel set that i got for my baby um my registry it's a lavender and grapefruit scent it's natural non-toxic once again um but yeah i really really do like this lotion because it's like very like lightweight and like i said the travel set came with like a stain remover it came with like a um it had the baby soap and wash which we did use in the very 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 beginning when we got it um and i think it was like one other thing the lotion the soap and then the um stain remover um, and I think it was like dish soap or something like that, which like I said, we used in the very, very, very beginning as well. So definitely follow me on Instagram because I do have like a whole like story highlights on there from mom life to like baby life to like, you know, all the things in between all of that. Um, and so definitely check those out because I have like products that I've tried in the past and, you know, current like must haves and things like that on there as well. Um, so since we're talking about like, you know, bath and skincare things, another thing I want to show, talk about if I don't use like lotion is baby oil. Um, and so I was really, really excited to find like a really like natural baby oil. This is fragrance free. Um, and it's still, it's very lightweight. So I do like that. It's not like overbearing in terms of like, you know, it being like an oil, but it's also like said by the brand, um, Pipette. So since we're talking about the brand Pipette, I wanted to show you guys this mineral sunscreen. It's hundred percent like a mineral based and it's not nano zinc um oxide um so it's spf 50 and it's fragrance free once again non-toxic which is great um i talked about this in my diaper bag video so definitely check that out if you are looking for some other like you know items to like add to your diaper bag so since we're kind of talking about like sunscreen stuff i mean like you know, you know outdoor stuff i wanted to show you guys the baby bug spray which is by the brand yaya organics um it's 100 percent plant-based um once again like it's, like it's a light scent it's not strong which i really do like it's um free from deep um synthetic gmos mineral oil alcohol clove peppermint rosemary and citronella um and like the active ingredients are geranium oil soybean oil castor oil and of course water it's organically grown according to the bottle um but it's great for pregnant women nursing women toddler kids and babies six months and up so this is what we got like say, about almost a year ago once he turned one and um yeah, like so far so good. No real real complaints. Comment down below if you have any other like, you know, sunscreen and um like baby bug spray or like you know options if you're watching this and you know we have any um options you think i should try definitely let me know um another thing we have in here with regards to his skincare stuff is like vitamin e oil and i also use um jojoba oil and um, coconut oil those are like the two i mean three and almond oil those are like the main oils that we would use in our household in regards to like skincare but like for the most part for his hair and his skin it's coconut oil jojoba oil and the vitamin e so here's just like a little bit of it. I only use like a little drop here and there. I like say so for the most part we use like the jojoba oil and the coconut oil on his skin and his hair. Um, so those are some things like you know extra that you can um, try. Okay, so the next thing you really want to have is like diaper rash cream. Um, this one is really good because once again it's a positive brand Bible Botanicals. It's sensitive skin. It's for sensitive skin and it's fragrance free. Um, and it's 25% non nano zinc oxide and definitely helps with like soothing like any like redness or irritation and things of that nature once again it's vegan um gluten free dairy free and soy free um and so like i said i would definitely recommend this being like one of like the the, the main go-to's i've also tried the um honest company it's like their diaper rash cream which is also like another good like you know natural alternative but like so i'm going to like you know vouch for this because it's kind of like what i know um 
So that's that. Another thing that you might want to try in terms of like ointment is the um, Maddie's All Natural Ointment. This one is a really, really good like, you know, ointment, like multi-purpose like ointment. It's petroleum free, which is what we try to avoid. Jojoba oil is um, infused with jojoba oil and coconut um, and it protects like the dry skin. So like if you like ever like we don't really use this one that often, but this is good like if you like he has like any cuts or bruises, this is something that I would use for like, you know, that purpose. So the next thing you can do or like it is the baby um, like chest rub. This is a great like um, like natural chest rub alternative to that of like a vapor rub. Um, they recommend you for babies three and uh, three months and up. And um, like I said, I have only used it a few times, so I can definitely vouch for it. It has like kind of like a eucalyptus like scent to it, which I think is why um, they probably recommend only but babies like three months and up. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good. It's vegan, it's um, petroleum and menthol free. Um, and another thing you can do aside from this is have like a, a humidifier or diffuser um, and use like, um, you know, aromatherapy type of like eucalyptus like drops like essential oil inside of the diffuser or the humidifier and that's what we um have we have a diffuser in his room now but before we would just put um like the humidifier like we have a, a three in one um a frida baby uh night light slash humidifier and we had that in our room when we would co-sleep with him all right so the next category that i'm gonna kind of briefly discuss is the like diapering like kind of category i guess you could say so for him like as a newborn um up until like i guess you could say now because we still use like um disposable diapers i have tried like a variety of the different like you know plant-based biodegradable diapers um from eco by natty to the healthiness to diaper to um the eco boom which is kind of like my go-to to hello bello and like a couple other one i think another one's like um andy andy pandy that's another like good one that i um will use on a regular um and just like a couple other ones and i came across this article when i was doing my research um for like the, the plant-based biodegradable diapers and that kind of had like rated them in terms of like how like good of a biodegradable plant-based diaper they are and in terms of like it being toxic and things of that nature so my go-to of all time is the um eco boom because it is like really really like hot on that list as like one of like the safest um plant-based um disposable biodegradable vegan friendly diaper um and so that's gonna be like my go-to or it has been my go-to and like to so the healthiness as well because that one's also ewg verified and they have like a whole line of like other clean products and things of that nature um so yeah that's pretty much that um in terms of wipes like so once again i use um hello bello because i did the same type of research within those articles it mentions hello bello being like even above like the regular water wipes being like a top water wipe um i guess like brand that's biodegradable and plant-based so those two are like those are like my main things i also wanted to show you guys these um wipes here it's by the brand attitude so i came across this brand like a while ago and i also did like a kind of like update um in my research um with that same article which i will link down below it once again um and when it comes down to these wipes and even like a few of the diapers some of the diapers have been removed so i will definitely have to do like like i said an updated version of this so please be sure to follow me on instagram but this brand is really 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 good it's ewg verified it's vegan friendly biodegradable and eco-friendly of course and they're really really good i've been using them for a few weeks now um, but i do wanted to mention that as well an even better find in my opinion would be the brand little toes their baby wipes and their diapers are made of natural bamboo fiber they're eco-friendly biodegradable and of course plant-based which is what something i really really truly um like so i would highly recommend testing this brand out check out uh, my amazon shop i have like a variety of different products and i'm always looking for alternatives that i like to say for eco-friendly vegan plant-based but disposable um like diapering um and about a year ago we actually started you know the process of like trying to potty train i guess you can call it um because he definitely was showing like early signs of it and we are still in the process and this has been like a 
journey um and like you know because like it's not really something that he has to have right away i we haven't been forcing it um but we do like to encourage it as much as possible about like a year ago like maybe a little over a year when he was like six seven months i came across this thing called elimination communication which essentially is like um infant potty training i guess that's what you can call it and it's like the, the practice of like you know picking up like the method of picking up on the baby's like cues and um just kind of going diaper free essentially um so we played around with it like i said for you know the first few months um but we were we still use the disposable diaper because it would be like you know especially if we had to go out it would be a lot trying to like you know focus on the cues and like oh yeah this is what it is but you know for the most part we would pick up on the cues especially in the morning i think that was like the easiest just to pick up on oh, when he had to go to the bathroom because you know usually when he wakes up he has to go to the bathroom so it's kind of easy even to this day to kind of pick up on that now he's doing a little more like you know talking i guess you would say so he can be like potty he'll say potty or he'll pull on his diaper and, and give like other cues like that to show that he has to use the bathroom now um so like i said now we're in, it's like it's still in that process but elimination communication i want to read a couple of things for you guys um but like it's really just a process of like encouraging like a deep connection with you and the baby um avoiding it's cleaner and it avoids you know diaper rashes um and you can literally start this as soon as the baby is born like you the, the day the baby's born if the baby's like a day old according to like you know the research that i've done there's an abundance of resources and videos on um, youtube you can like on instagram that you can watch and that you can like you know reach out to different people about this like, you know topic and particularly but I say all of that to say because um, in the process of, of doing all of that, we actually have these like little training pants, like reusable training pants, like kind of like little baby underwear, which is super cute. Um, and we got a pack of, I think it's what, five? One, two, three. Yeah, a pack of five. Three, four five six it's a pack of six so right now we have a pack of six that we have been using and that um we're just going to continue to use i might get a uh, another pack of six just you know as we get more into like transitioning um but like i said occasionally what we'll do is just like put this over his diaper just so that he kind of get used to like the idea of wearing it um but another thing to help us encourage is the cloth like diaper um so this is kind of like a cloth actual cloth diaper we did get this it actually came as like a set if you got like ordered this it's the same brand if you ordered this like these pack you could get these for free so we actually did that um and um like i said it's basically cloth diapers and you could just get like the inserts to put inside of it and we got like the bamboo um inserts to put inside of it but we were just using these as well to kind of help with our training like potty training process so i just wanted to show you guys that because that eventually would be something when you get to that point um be like a must have um so when he was a baby and even till now i don't have like an actual like changing station but i found these like bamboo like liners um that you could put like on your changing pad and i just like sit literally this not only saves you money but i just put this on the bed on the floor um on top of his little changing pad and like i said it's easy to fold and easy to wash so this is like like perfect um you know and it's um like i said made out of 100 percent bamboo and it's um water resistant like so you know you can get it wet and you know it won't like seep through like the fabric and that kind of thing so i got like two packs of these because like i said we don't have the changing pad we just use um like a changing station we just use these instead so in my opinion if you have a changing pad um station then you really don't need this but you definitely would want to have something that you can like to lay on the floor or on your bed or something to change your child um so yeah that's that another thing like especially now that he's like you know more into like he's sleep sleep been sleep training him and him like sleeping on his own little bed um is this like little um waterproof um pad so this goes over his mattress and like i said it definitely does help because you know as we like are just processing with um this like potty training journey and even if we don't use the potty training journey i mean even without the potty training journey he still you know makes like mistakes and stuff like that which is natural and so we have like two of these um i think i may get like a third one just for traveling sake because um i think you know it helps but um if not i think at least the two definitely works for now
So the next thing that I wanted to show you guys as we're talking about diapering are these like um, disposable diaper sacks. So these are compostable and biodegradable um, and it's by the brand Us Boo. It's eco-friendly. It's also biodegradable um, and it's like it keeps the um, scents like at like, you know, minimal. Like so it's not like a um, like harsh scent. You don't really smell the, like, the, the diapers that um, often, but I do want it and have been using these for like a while now. Um, I also also use like as like my go-to on the go I use the Ubi um, diaper sack packs or whatever the case maybe like the mini size ones for traveling well these is what we use inside of the, the next category is like more like growth and development um, from like sensory activity type of things and just like a bunch of things so I'm just gonna show you a couple of like my go-to like items um, that are like kind of extra but eventually you would need to use them so started off with like more of like the newborn stage this is like an example of like a little tummy time pillow so tummy time is very very crucial for building like the strength in your baby's like shoulders and arms so like some type of toy like this would definitely be like really really cool because it has like the different colors patterns shapes and like just like a variety of different things it makes sounds and it also makes like noise and it makes like you know music um, before we got this um, I actually was just using like a neck pillow so I'm just gonna throw that in there as well you can definitely definitely um, just use that um, as like a way to like, like I said strengthening your child's arms um so that's that another toy kind of thing are these like um like eco-friendly tv rings so we I, I just attached these two together but this is made out of like I think it's recycled um like pack, uh, recycled plastic and then these are like you know bamboo um like little rings that are great for teething um because like the wood um is like like mold and stuff like that resistant so that like actually really really helps and then with these you can just easily like wipe them off um another thing i wanted to have was like the little like fabric um tv ring which is good because it's also like a little rattle i got this for him for christmas like when he was a baby um and so it was great because like he absolutely loved like you know using this you know because it was like the fabric was great for his like gums and like so for teething so those are like some like teething items that you can like try. Some other like little fun things that you you may want to incorporate um, now, especially now my son is like a, closer to being like a well, since he is like a toddler. It's bubbles. Like we all love bubbles. I grew up on bubbles, and for me to find this was just like heaven sent. Okay. Um, so this is by the brand Bubble Tree. It is non toxic bubbles, and they're eco friendly. Made they're made in the U.S. And I like the fact that the packaging is like a little aluminum can this the bubbles um have like the little wand and you can basically um refill it so you can buy like a separate like aluminum can of like the um bubble refill and add it back into this when this runs out so i uh, said so the main thing is the fact that like, it's eco-friendly and that it's non-toxic so i definitely wanted to show this to you guys if you are ha have been or are looking for like a like an eco-friendly non-toxic alternative um so now kind of moving on to some things like crayons and things of that nature so we have used this brand the um azofran this is like organic vegan non-toxic waterproof no animal derived ingredients crayons they have like the color pencil sticks but we just got like the block crayons for him when he was like um as you can tell some of them are missing <laughs> um wow so they have like the blue the red, the yellow, um, pink, orange, green, brown, and black. Um, the yellow just completely fell and broke. But that's what we've been using um, for him. And you can literally, like, it's perfect because, you know, their hands are so small. So you can just kind of grip it and, like, you know, use it for coloring. Um, we have been, like, um, doing some preschool prep. So definitely stay tuned for one of my um, latest videos coming out, like, very soon on that. Um, not sure. I'm not sure my posting schedule um, right now in terms of, like, where I'll have it. But I definitely will have it around this time that I'm posting this video. So you can definitely check that out as well. Um, if you're looking for some color pencil alternatives, 
this brand is the um Kalazu, um three in one gecko pencils then they it's like paint pencils but they're not toxic they're also vegan and um eco-friendly um so they're very versatile and you can use it on like a smooth surfaces it also came with like a little paint paintbrush and it came with like the little pencil sharpener so essentially i have them in this thing essentially what the pencils look like are like this but they definitely are like very vibrant colors um and so we just have like a variety of them and so i wanted to show you guys this mainly due to the fact that there are other options if you guys are looking for that type of thing more of like the mindfulness type of um i guess you could say activities um obviously we have like a variety of books from mindfulness books to just like other things but since i'm talking about like you know um mindfulness specifically this alphabet affirmations flashcard we actually recently did just get my um, mom actually got it for him and so um, essentially it's for boys and girls and at any age you can like show them and read it to them and I absolutely love them because this brand is black owned and it has um, it just shows diversity and they can kind of relate to it and I definitely wanted to instill that into my child so you can see they have a girl side on one side they have the boy side on the other side um, this brand is also really cool because they have a variety of different products from the hair products and things of that nature on their site but they are also if I'm not mistaken the first black owned um, black owned registry in terms of like you know baby registry and birthday registry um that's like out there um in the industry so the brand is called darling and co and once again like i said check out their um registry where you can create your own registry with a bunch of like, black owned products and this video is not sponsored in any way but i definitely came across this like months ago um like as soon as i had my son i actually came across it and i was so excited to like see that wow they actually have like a whole registry that's full of like different like says black owned products that you can try and i'm obsessed with the fact that they have um this like um affirmation um alphabet cards um as well my partner both really want to instill um like mindfulness praying and just like overall like you know wellness like great wellness habits um meditation and things of that nature into his life and so now he knows how to relax he knows how to breathe he does things like that and i think what a lot of things that help is like teaching them while they're young so these are things that are extra but not necessarily like you know must have but things that i feel like in my what i'm trying to instill in my son as like a, a must have um so i have a couple of books here definitely comment down below if you want to see like a book tour book haul type of situation from his book collection um so we have books from about like mansa musa to just like you know um just um muhammad ali to just like a variety like to malcolm x like we have a variety of different books um and like so whether it be mindfulness books whether it be like little baby bibles and like you know just regular toddler books um and from about science and just things of that nature so comment down below once again or check out my instagram because i post these stories on there as well um so this one is the yoga bear shout out to my friend steph and her family they gave this to my son for um i think it was either his birthday or for i think it was either his birthday or just like um as like a registry grip when it was really like um thoughtful because it has like the different like yoga poses and things of that nature in it which is great and he's at that age where he's really really mimicking things so at this point like you go down to the mindfulness book this one the baby's big world is like the i guess the book brand um they have a variety of different books like um from like mindfulness to meditation to different things and so like i said anytime we like read like he will follow along and will actually like act out what it is that i'm presenting in the book so i wanted to show that because you know like i said he's at that age where like he definitely is taking in things for sure um some other books that are kind of um, some other thing i wanted to show you guys um are these um african American coloring books and it with positive affirmations so like so now he's at that taller stage um, it really is like useful to have like coloring books and things like so this like um, show like right, representations and things of that nature so yeah this is pretty much what it looks like like newborn I guess you could say development specifically with books uh, I just wanted to show you guys this like little soft um, sensory 
um, book that is really good because it's made it's black and white. And if you don't know, here's a little tip: so when your baby is especially a newborn, I think it's for like the first like month or two, they cannot see in, uh, nothing but black and white. They don't see color um, fully. So you want things that are in black and white for the books that have like you know bright like contrast like show that shows contrast. So we would show like we have these like little soft cushion books because like he would put these in his mouth. But then I also have like a bunch of these like look book um, like the collection books of like the um the different collections and things of that nature of like black and white books from like nature to like outside to like inside i have like the smaller ones i'll have to insert a picture um as well but i want to really really show this because i think this is like a good like thing to put on your registry as well so the next thing i have is like this little um little book bag it actually can comes with like this like little collar like leash thing which is great for like him now especially since he's since he's been walking and um and since he walks a lot you know and, and well, runs <laughs> this is really great for him to put his little snacks in and have his like little independence we really try to like believe as much as possible in the whole montessori like living when it comes down to his toys and stuff like that which i'm going to touch on in a second um but comment down below your thoughts on this whole leash thing like keep it real with me people i think it's safe but my partner thinks it's kind of like creepy low-key like craziness um to have your child on a leash and i you know to some extent agree i'm on the fence so, um, like I said, it came with it, but I'm not sure if I'm actually going to want to use it. Um, so, like I said, if you use it and you feel like, you know, say comment down below and tell me, share your experiences. Tell, tell me what, you know, what your thoughts are on that. Um, like I said, we have discussions about it and, you know, he expresses it in a way where he feel like it's psychologically programming, you know, the kids to believe, um, like, you gotta, you know, keep them, like, constrained and keep them in a box and things of that nature. And I know to some people, you know, that may be extreme, but I do see his point so comment down below your thoughts on it let me know what your thoughts are and yeah this is like our new little baby there all right you guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you truly enjoyed this video i hope it definitely helps you if you have any other like topic you know like motherhood or toddler related like you know topics that you want me to do videos on definitely comment down below and i will see you guys in the next video bye